Hello everybody, I'm motherfucking invisible Christopher Walken. Hua! And I'm Black Razor, the evilest damn sword in existence. Ha! Today we're debating the question of our own genre specific thematic importance to the game of dungeons or dragons. Which of us is the more important and more interesting antagonist? As always, I represent intelligent villains and monsters. Yeah, man. And I represent evil magical atoms. <laughs> Therefore, it is my argument that evil magical atoms are both super cool, one, and the single greatest cause of death amongst PCs. That's number two. Inanimate objects are only a threat to the blind and to the accident prone. A goddamn codpiece, no matter how villainous, will never be the threat to a party that an intelligent monster is. You make a fine point, man. Which you're welcome to blow directly out of your asshole. Man, the entire concept behind Dungeons & Dragons is ripped off directly from Tolkien. And this shit ain't exactly called the Lord of the Orcs, I'll tell you that, man. Center stage of the movies? Evil Ring! You stupid hunk of rust. The One Ring is not the primary antagonist of Lord of the Rings. The villain of Lord of the Rings is the Lord... Of the rings! Oh yeah, sure, man. No, that, you make a good point. And yeah, that intelligent monster villain, who, you know, blows up in the, in the first scene of the first movie, never recovers. God, what a terrifying antagonist he is. Oh man, I'm, I'm really worried about this bad guy, man. He sounds so evil. He looks evil. He's 12 feet tall and he has living darkness for a face. Oh, oh wait, he's been dead for 3,000 years. Huh? Man, I'm glad we dodged that bullet. By 3,000 years. You, you're kidding me, right? You... Uh, no one, no one is that stupid, even a passing familiarity with the books, and I... Wait a minute, have you even read the books? Not a big reader, my man. Too busy being awesome, and scoring with the ladies. Hey, look, man, all I'm saying is people, people like them Lord of the Rings movies. It ain't because of Tobey Maguire. Clearly, you're finally correct. Tobey Maguire is not in the films. Uh, no, man, you know, the... Oh, you know, what's his nuts? Uh, Matthew Lillard! Matthew, what? Have you even seen the movies? I haven't. I haven't really seen the movies, man. I saw a trailer for it. It was on during WWE Raw. That movie looked like a chick flick. You know, for bitches. Hey, chick flick. I suddenly, it, it appeals to women, I suppose. In that it appeals to anyone with a pulse. Yeah, well, so is Dukes of Hazard. I'm sorry. Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard, man. You're not familiar with the work? Oh, man. It's a story of two good old boys, never meaning no harm. Cousins. Closer than brothers. And their action-packed exploits in the idyllic land of Hazard County. The film not only tells the story of their awesome greatness, but it's got Stifler from American Pie. Huh, and Johnny Knoxville. Huh, huh, and Burt Reynolds. Huh, 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 a special guest appearance by Willie Nelson. Huh, along with my personal hero, Joe Don Baker. Huh, huh, huh. Fuck you. Plus, man, that chick... Oh, she is smoking hot! Who, the, the bleach blonde, illiterate Barbie stand in Jessica Simpson? Oh, hell no, man! I'm talking about the General Lee. The. the car? Oh, man, she's a beauty. I would ride that bitch every day. I'd be like, hoo, 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 ha! I had no idea that the General Lee was a girl car. A girl, man. She ain't no girl, man. She's a woman. She's a lady. Oh, them curves, man. That paint job. Hoo, hoo. I'm getting a little turned on just thinking about it, man. Me and her, I'll tell you. The South will rise again. Repeatedly. I'm done talking to you about this. Back to my original point. The goddamn ring, you dumbass, is the main antagonist of Lord of the Rings in the same way that the Maltese Falcon is the main character of the Maltese Falcon. I'm sorry, man. I must have something in my ears. Are you dissing a Maltese Falcon? Oh, I'm not dissing it. What? All right, man, because, you know, I'm just saying, uh, that Maltese Falcon is, uh, is fucking awesome, man. He had, like, presents. Man, he stole every scene he was in. Chewbacca and Han Solo? Ain't nobody even cares, man. They should have called that movie The Maltese Falcon. Now, pew, 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 I'm flying around, man, shooting lasers. Jesus Christ, that's the Millennium Falcon, you fucking moron. Yeah, man, look. Yeah, the Millennium Falcon. Man, he's fucking awesome. What are you even talking about, man? I'm talking about the Maltese Falcon. Any relation to the Millennium Falcon? Like a, like a brother? Cousin? No! My point, you fuck, is that the titular Maltese Falcon is, at best, a set piece. <laughs> he said, he said titular. <laughs> Titties. 
Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. I realize that none of you can see this. I just got up and stormed away. Hey, baby. This has been Dana Bait, where evil magical atoms are super fucking awesome. Yeah! Wait,